inscriptions in the ground of Coleorton the seat of Sir George Beaumont Bartless Astertia William Wordsworth the embowering rose, the acacia, and the pine, will not unwillingly their place resign. If but the cedar thrive that near them stands, planted by Beaumont's and by his hands. When wooed the silent art with studious pains, these groves have heard the other's pensive strains. Devoted thus, their spirits did unite by interchange of knowledge and delight. May nature's kindliest powers sustain the tree, and love protect it from all injury. And when its potent branches, wide out thrown, darken the brow of this memorial stone, here may some painter sit in future days, some future poet meditate his lays. Not mindless of that distant age renowned when inspiration hovered o'er this ground, the haunt of him who sang how spear and shield in civil conflict met on Bosworth Field. And of that famous youth, full soon removed from earth, perhaps by Shakespeare's self-approved, Fletcher's associate, Johnson's friend beloved.